Many years ago, when I was a much younger father, I was running an errand and listening to a radio talk show about parenting when I heard the statement, values are not taught to children, they're caught by children. I had to pull over to the side of the road to stop the car and ponder the significance of what the person being interviewed had just said. My two boys were still very young and I immediately thought about what values they were catching from me. What values, attitudes, and character traits was I modeling? Unfortunately, I can't recall who made this statement about values being caught, not taught, but the notion um, and the power of modeling has stuck with me uh, since that time, and it's, it has impacted the way that I approach parenting, teaching, and learning. I've often stated it in the Digital Learning Leading Program, the DLL, there's nothing that I'll ask my students to do that I've not done myself. By now, you should be well aware in the DLL, we use the COVA model and give you, the learner, choice, ownership, voice through authentic projects and the significant learning environment that we have created. So rather than teach or tell you directly what you need to do, we model the type of facilitation and learning we believe is necessary to be effective as digital leaders. If you recall my learning philosophy, I chose to call myself a learning facilitator rather than a teacher because I firmly believe that my role in your learning is to create the most significant learning environment that I can and then provide you a model of what I hope you will also do. My colleagues and I in the DLI, DLL are not alone in this belief. Many of the articles that you have read uh, or videos that you will watch point to the necessity of modeling in the learning environment and professional learning. I have to caution you that this approach is not easy. Giving up control and allowing your learners to take responsibility for their learning is difficult to do. To ensure that your learners are on the right track, you need to model the way you expect them to go. This is why modeling is even more important in a collaborative and self-directed learning environment. The need for a strong and effective model will make the difference between success and failure. To keep myself on track, I continue to ask myself what values and ideas about learning are my students catching from me? Am I just talking the talk or walking the walk? What values about learning will your learners, colleagues, and administration catch from you? If we expect our colleagues to adopt a self-directed perspective towards PL, then we must live and model this first.